Hi and welcome, my name is Sandra. You have reached my philosophy channel, Sandra is teaching something, and here is my cat Sophie. She is not very happy to be here, so I will let her go now. And yeah, today is Saturday, 29th of January. I promised you I will make an update before the end of January, and yeah, I'm making it. So that's great. Um, today I will show you one fully finished object and um, whips I have been working on this week. And also we will talk about plans for February. And also now I realize that uh, this video will be uh, I will film it in two parts. I will now film the part um, I'm filming now, and then I will make another one about what could I possibly finish in February, because February will be finished in February. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> um, let's start with my fully finished object. and. Um, some of you may remember, well, that we should start with a uh, number of floss tip episodes, this floss tip number 22. Um, and now mm, the fully finished object I have. Uh, some time ago I finished a uh, pomegranate. Um, it is a designer pattern by um, Little Stitch on Instagram um, and I have given it to my mother and she decided to fully finish it into such box for some crafting stuff so you can I will now try to you can open it and there will be some things for crafting but I will show you now how it looks like so yeah I'm still very proud of this finish um, and thank you mom it is uh, stitched on 36 count Edinburgh uh, I will never be stitching Edinburgh again in my life because that was something just not my cup of tea and yeah that was my fully finished object and now we can go to the whips I have three whips to share with you this week um, and yeah let's let's start um, I think the first one I was working on the first one I was work, working on is Dragon Race into the Night. It is uh, Heaven and Us Designs and um, artwork is by Rose, Rose Khan. Um, and uh, here I will put a picture of how this piece looked like the last time you saw it. And um, is it okay? Can, will you be able to see? Um, yeah, here it is now. With this piece I always have a problem showing it because it has a lot of white, creamy, um, very light colors when um, it's clouds yeah and um, i have dragons it's start of new dragon here that's very exciting and i want to finish this part um actually i am caught up with this piece i'm stitching 22 2022 uh, in 2022 um, 
and I'm caught up with this piece. Um, so I showed you how it will look like and probably how it looked like the last time you saw it, but just for maybe having before and after. Is it okay? Can you see anything? You can definitely see that something has changed, probably, maybe not. I'm not sure that this very strange piece, when I'm working on it, I can see the progress, but it is not the most photogenic piece. Um, so yeah, uh, the next one is another um, piece. I have been working uh, on a little bit uh, here and there. It is uh, Autumn Fox. I will put up a picture how it will look like when it's done. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> the last time uh, you saw it, I told you that I will need to put 2500 stitches to it. And I'm proud to say that I'm about halfway through almost. It's like I reached 1000 stitches. Well, stitches and half stitches uh, together all was graduated and 1000 was reached. I hope uh, till the end of February I will reach the goal and I will have my passport for traveling. Um, yeah, here will be a photo of how it looked like the last time you saw it, and here it is now. I have mainly worked on well, I worked on everything bit by bit. Um, you cannot see this obviously, but why stitches in this blanket uh, on this side are almost finished. And yeah, a little bit of orange was added as well. Little bit of grass. Mm. Still very proud of this jam uh, jar but my boyfriend keeps saying that he cannot see the jam jar just the cup and i'm like okay okay wait till i backstitch this because it has a bit of backstitching uh oh actually this piece uh maybe you don't know the story behind this uh so this one is kind of a companion piece to this one which is new year light and it is already fully finished as you can see and i really like that this fox is looking that way and this fox is looking that way so they will look at each other uh maybe maybe not um but yeah this is how it looks now, like now. Um, I'm sure I did a little bit of grass here. Um, but yeah, I need to um, get my head around half stitching on this piece because it has a lot of half stitching background. Yeah, I'm trying to show you the way you will see but I'm not sure how to do it. Okay. You can kind of see. And the last one. Um, so this is a kit by Njar Ptica, Russian company uh, manufactures kits. Uh, for cross stitching and also uh, 
well, yeah, it is for cross stitching. Mm, it is 14 count Ada. Uh, not sure about the threads, um, but it's not DMC. It's something, something. Uh, the next piece I will show you is another full coverage. I have been working on. Um, I have been working on it um, a lot. I mean, I did a big chunk because of one of the challenges. Um, actually, uh, I was not thinking of doing a challenge on this one, but then I kind of realized that that is my only possibility to make the challenge. So the piece I'm talking about is East Bear. Uh, I call it East Bear. Originally, it is called Fluffy Friend. It is by designer Chimera. Um, it, has, it is a full kit bought from her website. Uh, stitched on 18 count Ada with CXC threads. Here I will show you how it will look like when it's done. Um, and here will be a photo of uh, how it looked like the last time you saw it. Um, well, the um, year goal for this one is the highest above all my full coverage pieces, but um, I'm not caught up and I'm working on being caught up. So yeah, you can see how it looks like now, uh, how it looks like, looked like <laughs> the last time and here it is now. Oh God. I love this piece so, so much. It is bear's ear coming along. And uh, this section I'm working on right now. Mm. And yeah. The, mm, that is so cool to see that it will be head of the bear and yeah I'm, I'm very proud of myself that I'm doing such great piece and it is coming along very nicely so a lot of confetti in this ear because a lot of two uh, stitches, one stitch at a time, but generally it's fine because I'm working with a specific method. Um, it works with my cross stitching application, Cross Stitch Saga. You can select an area, for example, 400 stitches, and inside that area you uh, regulate the threads numbers to be shown you in the um, sequence of least stitches uh, in that area so for example if there is only one stitch i will have that color the first one so i will stitch that one stitch and then i mark off and then i go uh, further and further and then I will only need to fulfill, uh, I will need only fill some background color or something. So yeah, very happy about this piece, that it finally got some bit of love. I'm still behind. Um, let me check you. Let me check. I will tell you um, if I'm very behind 
or not. Mm. Okay. So with Dragon Race, I'm caught up till the 31st of January. And yeah, um, is the bear. Mm, I need to do um, 372 stitches today in order to be cut up. Um, I probably won't do that because I have other plans for today and also I will be spending some time editing this video. But yeah, maybe this week I will get more cut up on that piece. Um, at least I want to finish that section and maybe start another one. Uh, not sure about that, but we will see. Uh, and um, I have another piece that I forgot to bring here. So I'm not sure how will we, will we do that. Okay, <clears throat> I will film this video and then I will insert the small video here. So yeah, another week for you guys, uh, unexpectedly. It is my herring collection piece. Um, the goal for this year is to reach 10,000 stitches uh, during this year, I mean. Um, so yeah, here will be how it will look like in 20 years. And I told it before, 20 years is a very optimistic goal for this one. And uh, I will show you also how it looks like the last time you saw it. Um, and here it is now. It's only black I need to feel in this stitching, in this area, and it will be good. Um, yeah, this one is one of my favorites as for the filming it because it is very beautiful on the screen, always. I mean, really, it's one of the most perfect pieces. <laughs> it is 25 uh, count, one over one who crosses and yeah it is a big one um currently i'm working up my way down so i will finish somewhere here well no no i will uh this is actually the last uh Row I'm making, and then I will go up here and finish what is done here. Also, 200 stitching areas should be fine. And also, it's very hard for you to see, but I will try to show. Um, as you can see, my method of stitching is leaving zigzag. Uh, on the sides, uh, for example, here you can see the zigzag a bit. Can you? So each uh, row I end with zigzag. So these stitches at the bottom are in green color. So that is the second leaf coming along. Um, I saw recently 
uh, Elara showed like circled area on the um, pattern. I will try to do the same with this one. So uh, picture will be here as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very happy about this piece getting some love. And yeah, I want to get to some parades actually, but that will happen when it happens. Maybe not this year. Um, about that piece. Um, I hope that will be fine. Uh, and now we go to the section February plans. The first part of it. Um, so uh, February plans. First of all, it is finished February. We will talk about it later. Uh, and the second one, I want to concentrate on some whip go pieces. Uh, yeah, I have a whip go board. It is not fully done because I don't have 25 projects uh, and I wanted to have each project only one time. So not sure if you can see. So the numbers called for this month are 5 and 17. Uh, so number five is blue ornament and number 17 is seaport. A little bit of crinkling is coming because... Because... <clears throat> so... Um, here is my blue ornament. You can see that I started bleeding, but not very much. And I need to beat this one and finish some stitches in this one as well. And this one is only started here at the top. I have a little bit of start. Uh, plan for the year is to finish it, of course, because well, it is a small piece. Um, I should be um, able to finish it before the end of the year. Well, one month of the year is already kind of gone and um, nothing happened to this piece. So I plan on stitching it in February. Plan on stitching it during my working hours um, and I am sure it will get some progress as soon as I uh, feel it. I will take it and work it and then I will not be uh, wanting to um, stop working on it before it's done. But with the second piece for February it's all more complicated. Uh, the project is called Seaport. I will show you how it looks like now. It is actually a very um, beautiful project, very beautiful design. And the thing which is stopping me from working on it is that I don't have a chart because my cat, um, whom you saw in the beginning of the video, ate a chart. So now I'm like, should I stitch using a chart from internet, which I'm not sure if it is correct 100% or if should I somehow contact the provider, the manufacturer let us teach for them to send me another chart. And due to these reasons, I don't have 
exact plan for year of for this year and also even if i had uh, a plan i'm not sure how will i reach the, the goal without having a paper chart for the for this piece so yeah uh, that were my bingo bingo pieces and now um, we will talk uh, we will stop here i will save the video and then make the second part um, with another clip of mine and yeah um, So yeah, and now um, the second uh, part of finished February plans. Of course, it is um, like ambitious to think I will finish blue ornament and then will be able to take something else, but. I want to show you the variety of pieces I can accomplish technically during the February months. So it is one of my oldest, not full coverage whips, succulent. You may think that it is almost done and yeah, it is almost done. I need to finish the back stitching and beading and then I will be done. Uh, on this side, no, no, on this side, beading, beading is finished, I think. Only back stitching to do. And on this side, I need to do beading and back stitching. Um, so yeah. Um, maybe evening or two hours of work and this beautiful piece will be finished but still it's not done two years probably not sure if I will be able to finish it in February because my head is like I want to do full coverage and I want to do something easy <laughs> and backstitching is not easy and full coverage is easy actually but the second piece I um, would like to get to during February not sure if finishing it but working on it will be cool it is charming it is my cat from Gold Collections Dimensions Petit. Dimension, dimensions Gold Collections Petit. Um, and yeah, <clears throat> I need to do his head um, blanket to finish it and his body. So quite a bit of work here but yeah, um, that is also kind of a plan to touch in February. And of course, my full coverage pieces, I would like to be cut up on all of them. But uh, I just know that it won't happen at once. Like I will be cut up on all of them. Uh, because when I cut up on one piece, I'm behind on another piece. It's only uh, with Dragon Race that I can do a head and then will, I will be cut up. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that is strange. Um, but I think this is how we end the video. Uh, I'm grateful that you came to see my progress, my plans. I was a bit rambly today, sorry for this. Um,
can't promise if next time will be any better, but I still would like to see you here um, by my side. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me, with my ramblings and um, words, words are hard. Um, and yeah, generally, thank you for being you. If you like this video, consider liking, um, subscribing, and I will see you next time. Um, till I see you next time. Happy stitching, guys. Bye.